Mastering gradients is one of the most important skills you can learn in Procreate. You can use gradients to modulate flat surfaces, to give them depth or character, to create interesting lighting effects or shades and shadows. You can even use a kind of reverse gradient to create an overall mood or atmosphere to your drawing. The key to making good gradients is to use the soft brush. I select the area that I'm going to add a gradient to, and then I work in the new layer above that, keeping the brush a safe distance away and practicing to get just the right effect that I want. Another advantage of putting your gradients on a new layer is that after you make your gradient, you can adjust it either in the opacity mode or in one of the many blend modes underneath. You don't always get it right the first time, so you can keep going back, selecting the layer below, tapping on the new layer, and adding any kind of new color you want. Gradients can even help you add reflections to this ball. I can even add a gradient to this blue area in the background. The blending mode of gradients becomes even more important if you want to change the table into, for example, a marble table by importing a marble image. Now, by changing the blending mode of the gradient, I can make it appear to be more part of the marble itself. Gradients can also be a great way to change the entire mood of your drawing by adding a layer at the end, filling that layer with black, adjusting the transparency of that layer, and then using the soft brush in eraser mode to take away only the part of that layer you want. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more like this.